Assalamu alaikum friends. Question number five. So question number five again. As you can see, you have been given the group financial statements, okay, of Bubble and Tesler. Okay. As you can see that they are in different currencies. One is in dollar and one is dinner. This shows that we have a foreign exchange here, okay, in this question. Now, before we go to this, let us go to the requirements. We have been given the exchange rate, so this clearly shows us that this is a subsidiary overseas. Okay, then we have an overseas property. Okay, so now how to deal? Let us read the requirements first. Okay, so part A, part B. Okay, so part A has three requirements, and then we have part B. Okay, part A. First part of Part A says calculate with supporting calculations the value of goodwill arising on the accusation of Tesler. That should be reported in the consolidated statement of financial policy. And definitely, we know that when we consolidate a subsidiary, the goodwill which we calculate goes in the consolidated statement of financial position. We know that, right? So, have you noticed one thing? Okay, so this is question five, and we have been from one to five. Have you noticed the pattern that whenever a group question asks, the first question they always ask us calculate goodwill, calculate goodwill, calculate goodwill. So by now you know that this is the pattern okay it is now set in your subconscious mind that this is the pattern of a group question this is how it comes goodwill definitely goodwill is there okay so first it is calculate with supporting explanations that means you have to explain not just calculate value of goodwill okay for seven marks this seven marks is not just for calculation we have explanations also okay second part explain why the foreign exchange differences arise on the retranslation of Tesla and how they are accounted for in the consolidated financial statements okay so you have to explain explain means not the numbers but you have to write also why foreign exchange transactions arise on retranslation okay and how they are accounted how they are accounted uh, in the consolidated financial statements how they are accounted in the consolidated financial statements as part of your answer you should calculate the balance on the group translation reserve so don't forget this okay what do you have to calculate balance on the group translation reserve definitely when we translate foreign exchange we know that there is a separate uh, what do I say reserve for it okay so this is foreign exchange reserve or translation reserve so in the group the translation reserve you have to calculate the balance also what goes there okay third advise the directors of bubble on how to correct the accounting treatment of the overseas property showing the adjustments needed and calculate the property plan and equipment balance as it would appear in the consolidated statement of financial position now there are two things two requirements in one First, you have to advise the director on the current accounting treatment. For what was his property? You have to do the adjustments also. If any adjustments needed, then you have to advise and calculate also. And calculate PPPPPP balance. Because it will go in the consolidated statement of financial position. Okay. Has it been appeared? So now part B. Tesler operates, okay, this is about functional currency, operates a mine. So they are giving you information how to, how to determine functional currency. Okay, so operates a mine. Its income is denominated and settled in dinner. Okay, so income in dinner. It is denominated and settled in dinner. The output of the mine is uh, routinely traded in dinner and its price is determined initially by local supply and demand. Okay, see output is in dinner okay price by local supply and demand okay tesla pays 40 percent of his cost and expenses in dollar with the remaining being incurred locally and settled in dinner so 40 percent cost in dollar 40 percent cost in dollar the remainder in dinner that means 60 percent tesla's management has a considerable degree of authority management has degree of authority and autonomy in carrying out the operations of tesla and it's not depend not dependent 
upon the group companies for finance okay because this is some key information which you need to determine what is the functional currency that's why they have given you who has the autonomy who is helping for finance in which uh, currency the cost are in which currency the income are right all these things are needed for functional currency that's why it's a paragraph i have highlighted the words keywords for you now you have to require discuss and apply the principles set on is 21 so the standard is is 21 definitely we know even if they don't give it is is 21 only right the pair of changes in foreign exchange rates in order to determine the functional concept is low so this is subsidiary and you have to determine the functional currency discuss and apply the principles okay you have to use the principles of is 21 to tell this six marks now let us go to the case study So now let us read the Tesla body. Bubble owns 60% of equity, 60% in Tesla. That means it's a subsidiary, a company located overseas, which has presented its financial statements in Dena. As you can see here, okay, looking at financial statement, Tesla is presented in Dena. The shares in Tesla were acquired on 1st of November 2000. So accusation is 1st of November 2004. At the date of accusation, retail earnings was 258 million Dena, and Tesla had no other components of equity. On this date, non depreciable land was carried in financial terms of Tesla 50 million dinar, but it had a fair value of 70 million dinar. Okay, non depreciable land had a fair value of 70 million dinar. It was at 50 million dinar in the statement of financial, but had a fair value of 70 million dinar. Next, NCIR acquisitions to be calculated fair value by reference to the quoted share price at of Tesla. Okay, so NCI is at fair value. What is the fair value? To calculate that, here directly they didn't give you the fair value, but you have to calculate that fair value. How is it? The quoted share price was 2.62 dinars per share. Okay. And impairment review of goodwill was undertaken on 1st of October 2005. Okay. So the so this impairment part you need, okay, because we have to calculate goodwill. So the goodwill of Tesla is to be impaired. Impaired by 20%. Goodwill. Okay. Tesla has not issued any equity share uh, shares since accusation. Now the following exchange rate has been provided. 1st of November, the date of accusation, uh, it was 8. Then 1st of May 2005 was 9, 31st October 2005 9.5 and average, okay, because we know that for profit and loss, statement of profit and loss or the comprehensive income, we need the average rate, okay. Now coming to the overseas property, okay. So overseas property, bubble wish to expand, okay, maybe we can read this uh, later when we do part, uh, what do I say, the third part of A. So now we can calculate the goodwill and the uh, deal with the exchange differences okay since we have read the case study now let us come to the answer so first is goodwill so the question asks you to advise calculation are not sufficient to score full marks whenever the word advice is there remember calculation and explanation okay so which standard you use we know whenever it's goodwill or consolidation or uh, accusation of something it is ifrs3 remember this standard very well definitely this standard you will get because we know that question one group accounting is there group question comes a group question means ifrs3 will come there so you have to know all the rules and regulations of ifrs3 okay says that goodwill so what does ifrs3 says goodwill is recognized at the accusation date it is cal okay so now you are explaining what you are doing okay all this is explanation you recognize goodwill at accusation it is calculated as the difference between okay you have to write like this how goodwill is calculated it is recognized on what date accusation date it is calculated how difference between the total of the fair value of consideration transfer to acquire control and nci so you add the fair value of nci with the consideration minus the fair value of subsidiaries identifiable net assets okay now according to i and break it into different paragraphs okay this is the next paragraph second paragraph is according to is 21 so now you are linking with is 21 also two standards you are linking in one because this is a overseas subsidiary so not just IFRS, not local subsidiary, okay, IS-21. So IS-21 says, goodwill arising on accusation of uh, foreign operations treated as a foreign operations asset. Okay. At each reporting date, it is translated at the closing rate of exchange. This is something new. It is translated at the closing rate of exchange at each reporting date. That means at each year. Goodwill is an asset. So you have to write this. It is a foreign operations asset. No, goodwill is an asset only, non-current asset. Sorry, intangible asset. But when you acquire the foreign operation, it is treated as a foreign operations asset. 
so you need to translate at the closing date of exchange assets and liabilities we translate at what rate closing rate closing rate okay goodwill is calculated initially in foreign currency as follows so initially you calculate in foreign currency later you translate later you translate to dollar first it is in dinar so you have to keep the currency ready with you okay this is dm dm is dinar in millions please when our currency question comes i am again again emphasizing more or not because people go wrong because they miss out the currency they don't write the currency at all they just write millions or they write the wrong currency they write dollar okay they start converting itself from the beginning power of consideration they convert the dollar no in fact if it is in dollar you have to convert into uh, dinar and write why because some are in dinar some are in dollar so don't keep in different currency you cannot do in different currency I have to keep you have to keep everything in one currency okay translate at the end so keep everything in dinar first and then translate at the closing rate to dollar that's why you see the fair value of consideration you must be wondering it is in dollar 46 million dollar then why are we converting into dinar we have to convert into dinar then we have to convert back again to dollar later on using the closing rate okay so that's why fair value of consideration is 46 into 8 million okay you can see where is it 46 million so here how do you notice 46 million because investment in tizer is 46 here you can see in the balance sheet okay and which rate are you using out of the rates which they have given this is first of november 2004 this rate okay because if you see investment in this one okay when was the investment it is acquired on 1st of November 2004. That's why the dates are very important. 1st of November 2004, it was in, uh, it was, you have bought the shares. That means you have acquired. Uh, so you have to use that. Multiply by 8. Okay. Now another thing is multiplication or division. Multiplication or division. Exchange rate uh, question. This is the doubt. So this is 46 million in dollar. You can see in the other thing. Okay. And uh, let us go to the exchange rate. Okay. So since this is 46 okay you can see this for this is dinar to dollar that means eight dinar will be equal to one dollar okay so you have how many 46 so if, if it is in dollar okay this is in dollar this 46 and this is in eight so this is dinar this is dollar different currency multiply okay cross multiply for 46 into eight when you want to convert into dollar okay so that's why we have multiplied 46 just see they are writing dollar they are writing the currency here also dollar 46 million the whole amount you are writing okay into eight so that later on you don't get confused with the millions and number of zeros okay that's why it's important 46 million omitting the six zero just writing 46 million into eight okay that means 368 million when we read it we write it as 368 but when we read it it is 368 million next is nci accusation nci accusation you have to calculate not normally how they give the NCI accusation. So this is something new. You see, every question has something new. Maybe the way they calculate goodwill might be changed in some question. Maybe the goodwill will be, maybe the NCI calculation might be different. Maybe fair value of consideration might be something different. Something they will make different every question. That's why every question needs to be attempted. And that's the reason I'm putting up every question. Okay. So NCI at accusation. We'll see. If you can see, it is 210 million shares into 40% into 2.62 dinar. Okay. This is already in dinar. They don't have to. So you have to write in dinar only. Okay. So NCI, if you see, it is 40% because you have acquired 60%. That we know. Okay. 40% is NCI. That we know. What is the number of share? And the price is also 2.62 dinar per share. We already they have given you 2.62 what is the number of share number of share how will you get it is this 210 okay not of the parent not of the bubble no nope. Tesla. okay the subsidiary is 210 so 210 into 210 million shares into 40 and that is also 210 million okay it is in million everything is in millions only into 40 percent into 2.62 dinner which will be 220 okay 
next is favel of identifiable net assets if you see there is a working one this is how you need to write your answer when you have a working just write w1 w2 whatever the number you want to give and write a separate working is separated from the main uh, answer okay workings are never in the main this thing so working one is uh, different and then we got goodwill and after that goodwill we have been told that accusation is 20 percent so you take 20 and then goodwill at the reporting date is 80. so this is in dinar you have to convert it into dollar so the goodwill of Chrysler as a 31st October 2005, they have given you the date. So mention the date. The goodwill at this date is therefore 8.4 million. Okay, how? They have shown here. D, okay, just write D. 80 million divided by 9.5. Okay, how 80 divided by 9.5? Because if you see here, what is the date? 31st October 2005, this is the rate, 9.5. Okay, at this date, they won the goodwill. So that's why 80 divided by 9.5 and it is in why division this time because it is in dinar 80 million is in dinar 9.5 is in dinar same currency divide earlier it was locked like that earlier it was different currency that's why you multiply okay so here you will see you divide it okay now let us see how we got the identifiable fair value of net assets 488 okay so here's the working okay so here also even in the working also you have to keep care of the presentation okay here also you have to write the 9 millions okay then how do you calculate the net assets it starts with share capital plus return earnings plus fair value adjustments so share capital of Tesla just now we saw is 210 return earnings 258 which return earnings are we taking not this return earnings nope we are taking the return earnings this one 258 this return earnings we are taking on the date of the accusation what is the return earnings okay 258 and what is the difference 70 and 50 the difference we are taking favela adjustment okay so that 20 we are taking here okay 70 million 50 they have shown in the bracket but this separate working is not there you can show in the bracket itself therefore 20 add all and 488 okay now let us see what the what's the note they have wrote here so the subsidies net asset should be measured in the consolidated financial terms at farewell of the accusation date. You have to write a note, remember, because you have to explain also, not just calculation. So subsidies net asset should be measured in the consolidated financial terms at farewell of the accusation date. Okay. As such, the land carried at the 50 million dealer in the separate financial terms should be remeasured to. Okay. The land carried was 50 million dealer in the separate financial statement should be remeasured to 70 million dinar. And then re and then translated into dollar at the appropriate rate be translated into the dollar okay next coming to the translation reserve this is the second part of a so first part of a is over you have got the goodwill now comes the translation reserve okay so before going to the translation reserve let me just give me a few minutes a few minutes so translation reserve is the next part they asked why it will go and then balance in the translation reserve two things we have to do right so, translation reserve now let us see what they wrote and if you see this is for how many marks this is for 10 marks my god definitely have to do more writing here so the foreign exchange differences arise when okay now you are giving the reasons why uh, why it arises so the foreign exchange difference arises when translating a tesla into the presentation currency of the group this is because three things are there one two that you make sure that you know this the three reasons okay you have to know the three reasons i would not say memorize it but understand it because once you understand it is automatically uh, it will be memorized okay goodwill is retranslated every year at the closing rate next is this it is retranslated every year in the closing rate every year it is translated retranslated closing rate because goodwill is an asset okay asset whatever comes in the statement of financial position it is translated at the closing rate because according to is 21 because when we go to is 21 you will understand okay you can come back and revisit this question and see then it will make more sense to you 
and you will understand it better also because since now you haven't gone through i21 if you are following my videos and going in that way manner you must have not completed i21 by now but if you have definitely from your earlier studies you must have some knowledge so you know but this for the students who are watching it completely new you must be wondering by closing date because i21 says so you can even go and check yourself what are the rules in i21 at what rate you uh, convert coming to the next the opening net assets are retranslated every year at the closing rate the opening net assets they are translated at the closing rate to the same like goodwill third profit for the year's translated statement of profit for the year profit translated in the statement of profit or loss at the average rate this is the different rate but the net assets definitely in the net assets we have profit right so that is average rate net assets in the are translated the closing rate next So the exchange differences arising in the retranslation of an overseas subsidies are recorded in other comprehensive income. When you retranslate the overseas subsidies, where does the exchange differences go? This you have to know. It is in the maybe I will highlight it for you. It other comprehensive income. Remember this, where it goes. They are presented as an item that may be reclassified. This is again we went through that list. Remember, in my previous video, one of my videos I went. For the items that will be reclassified when i was uh, discussing is1 presentation of financial statements okay there i have told you what are the items that will be reclassified what are that we went through a list also what are the items that will not be reclassified so this is this is an item that may be reclassified to profit and loss in the future when you sell the subsidiary so that time it will be reclassified whatever the amount is written in the other comprehensive income it will be transferred to profit or loss account only when you sell the subsidiary next paragraph says exchange differences arising on the translation of the subsidiary's opening net assets and profit attributable to the owners of the group you need to know this exchange differences goes to whom when you translate okay they are opening net assets and profits it is attributable to the owners of the group and the NCI. Please understand this. Exchange differences also. Portion of it, the owner's portion goes to him and the balance goes to NCI. Okay. So the exchange differences arising on the translation of goodwill are attributable to the owners of the group. And so therefore, when you translate the goodwill also, owner, it will go to the owners and the NCI. If the NCI, the accusation was valued at fair value, you see, when will it go to the owners and the NCI? If the NCI is valued at fair value, was valued at its fair value, but it it was valued, right? NCI was valued at its fair value. So the exchange differences attributed with owners of the group are held in a translation reserve in equity. So the exchange differences which goes to the owners are held where? Translation reserve in equity. The translation reserve, like how we have reserves, revenue reserves, revaluation reserve. There is a translation reserve like that, and it goes under equity. Okay. So this is calculated as follow they have given you dollar millions and how it is calculated okay we have separate workings for each one is the goodwill share the group share of the goodwill forex loss maybe it's a loss so next is net assets and profit one is goodwill the other one is net asset and profit share the group share okay and it's a loss so together 7.1 million loss 1 million loss and 6.1 million loss now let us see the workings Okay. Exchange loss on the goodwill. So if the goodwill is calculated using the fair value, the exchange gain or loss and any impairment must be apportioned between the group and the NCI. Okay. Now, please learn this pro forma. Please, when exchange rate question comes or cash flow question comes, there are set pro formas. You have to follow the pro formas. What is the pro forma? If you see, there are three groups. Okay. One, I'm sorry. Uh, one okay so one two three there are three groups uh, sorry three columns okay so make it into three columns first is in the currency second the exchange rate and third the currency which you want it to be okay you want it to convert here you want the dina to be converted into dollar so dina exchange rate and the the dollar and it has to be uh, the exchange rate has to be written next to it so that we know which exchange rate has been applied and this is also if you see it is in dina dm and this is in dollar million okay next 
opening goodwill okay definitely opening goodwill will come okay then we have impairment then the exchange loss then the closing goodwill okay so what is the opening goodwill in part a it is written okay so whenever you have a whenever you want to repeat something or whenever you, you are taking the help of the previous uh, calculation right part a for example in the second part of a you want you are taking the figure from the first part of a this is the way to reference it okay part a first one it is understood that you are taken from there okay so i can go up and check what was it the goodwill it was 100 you see 100 was the goodwill 100 was the goodwill this one was the impairment at accusation we want okay not at the reporting date not after minus in good impairment so 100 okay so that 100 you will be convert because the rates which you are using to convert the goodwill the 100 and impairment are different rates that's why you have to separate out the 120 you are not taking 80 and then converting no 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 okay 100 you are converting using 8 20 you are converting using the exchange rate and thus you are getting the dollar 12.5 and you are dividing it okay 12.5 and uh, 2.5 impairment will be in bracket and bracket is very important wherever brackets are there you have to put the bracket if you don't put the bracket you will lose marks so impairment you cannot write 20 you have to write the 20 in the, inside the bracket because it, it needs to be deducted okay so hence you can see the closing goodwill is 80 just now what we got in party but the rates are different for impairment and the opening goodwill 8 and 8.5 okay let me go through the exchange rates okay so when you acquired it was this rate and an average rate for 31st october 2005 it is this rate 8.5 okay that is for impairment impairment is an expense goes in profit and loss account therefore average rate 8.5 but goodwill opening is asset so closing rate 12.12 and exchange loss before this is a balancing figure you see whenever it's a balancing figure write in bracket that is a balancing figure okay so that it is understood how you got the figure you need to write balancing figure closing goodwill closing goodwill you can calculate how closing goodwill see 80 it okay 80 will be divided not uh, 8 or plus 8.5 no okay or don't take the average of this two the closing goodwill on this date what is the rate if you see that is a different rate it's 9.5 okay 9.5 is on 31st october 2005 this is the closing rate at this date so you have to take the closing okay for the 80 goodwill 9.5 and hence you got 8.4 okay why that exchange loss of profit comes now the prop the 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 exchange profit or loss comes that balance comes why you know this you have translated a different rate opening was translated a different rate and this was translated at average rate so different rate so definitely there will be some balance which will come why because when you are taking this 12.5 minus 2.4 just see what is the balance it is 10.1 okay so here it should come 10.1 but it is 8.4 this difference is coming because 80 divided by 9.5 so this is 8.4 horizontally when you are taking it is like across when you are taking it it is 8.4 but when you are taking it downwards like this 12.5 minus 2.4 the goodwill is coming 10.1 right but here it is 8.4 that means it should come even less so 10.1 minus 8.4 the difference is 1.7 that's why it's a loss exchange loss because closing goodwill is even lower than that okay because if you write a loss over here you deduct a loss only you can bring this figure to 8.4 from 10.1 minus 1.7 is 8.4 okay therefore this exchange loss is 1.7 so i hope you are understanding now next and goodwill has been calculated using fair value method okay so therefore the exchange loss must be allocated in the group and the NCI based on the respective shareholdings okay so this 1.7 is the exchange loss 60 percent group 40 percent nci okay therefore one and 0.7 you go up you can check okay 1 and 6.1 
how 1 and 6.1 because uh, from net assets and profit you are only writing the groups part okay group is one not NCA part NCA part you are just showing here you need to show in the work in your workings but in the main table you are only putting the groups okay next exchange uh, loss on and you need to write proper heading exchange loss for which item don't put everything together for goodwill it is separate from opening net assets and profit it is a separate exchange loss okay so he, even the tutorial note says make sure that you learn this performer same way three columns okay dna exchange rate and dollar starting with net assets opening net assets definitely opening balance will come first okay obvious right you won't write the closing balance first and then opening balance so start with opening balance which date the date of accusation what was the when was the date of accusation first of november 2004 whenever you are writing this please write the date next to it the date is very important don't just write net assets or opening net assets because date is very important based on that date exchange rate matters so write the date first of november 2004 it should not even uh, take you 30 seconds to write the date for now though you have to type so you can type even faster so it won't take even 30 seconds to write the date so please don't be so confused don't be so i would what do i say stingy okay just write it i know there are some people who always try to think that i i will save time so i will write less words you know they try to make everything short and short so don't do that And with that net assets we add the profit and here also exchange loss is the balance where the last amount to week before that you can write the closing figure okay and if you see to get the closing net asset even to get the closing net asset a separate working is there working for okay you see so let us start with the opening net assets 488 in the beginning itself when we calculated goodwill opening net assets you see net assets at accusation 488 we already got 488 in dinner so that 488 we can put here and then 8 because on that date the exchange rate was 8 first of number 2004 okay 61 you divide it and you get and i'm sure by now you know where the multiplication or division definitely just see if you multiply 40 488 by 8 this amount would would be much bigger no so 40 488 divided by 8 okay because this is in dinner this is in dinner same currency divide next profit for the year if you see there's a separate working working for of how you got this d522 minus 488 that means the closing net asset minus the opening net asset then only you get the profit right so let us go to the working four first because if we don't go to the working four we cannot understand how we got this profit 34 or how we got this closing net asset right so let us go to the working four sometimes what this is the way when you are doing this okay when you're stuck like this in a question like this what should you do where well, you cannot proceed by you without getting this figure keep some space okay in between you can keep some now you have to type okay now it is a cv platform so this made your work much easier earlier when we used to do in paper base we have to estimate the number of lines we have to uh, keep and then come back and fill it and sometimes we might be keeping too much sometimes we will be keeping too little space most of the time it is too little space we keep therefore we have to write here there it was very unclear but now it is cv platform you can always uh, there is no worry you don't have to worry about uh, the spaces amount number of lines you have to keep okay because you are writing in ms word so it does not matter okay you don't have to estimate that thing is in the, out now so thanks to cv platform okay now let us go to the working for oh, working for a very small figure let us set at the reporting date share capital return is a favel adjustments we saw favel adjustment was 20 okay share capital we know it is the share capital of tricer from the balance sheet 210 retain earnings is 292 this retain earnings 292 is from the balance sheet not this one not when we were calculating the opening net assets okay this 292 is now again from the statement of financial position this 292 now you can take because of the reporting date you are taking from the balance sheet share this one this one and the favel adjustment okay To calculate the closing net assets because closing net assets will take the return earnings post accusation okay not at the date of accusation post accusation that's why we are taking the return earnings 292 i hope now it makes sense 
so this because this is the closing net asset 522 so this 522 so profit is this 522 minus 48 even this is a balancing figure you could say 34 okay the difference so this is a profit and profit average rate okay average rate you have to take and this is the closing rate at 31st october 2005 okay that is it you are converting so now the same way you have to do 61 plus 4 if you get it is 65 but this was 54.9 even less than 65 so you have to drop down from 65 to 54.9 how can you drop it down only if you have a loss here so exchange loss okay minus 10.1 it's a loss so this 10.1 is your loss right and from here also same how you have done for parents and group and ncf for goodwill here also you have to do the same okay so 60 percent of 10.1 will go to pair and 40 percent nci and 6.1 to group and 4 to nci and if you sh show here here only 6.1 the parents portion and here also the parents portion of goodwill that's it because only parents portion will go to the translation reserve in equity please understand the exchange difference relay for the owner of the group okay only this will go to the translation reserve and you have to make because in the requirement they told how much will you have to calculate a balance for the translation reserve that's why the parents proportion you have to show here but in the working place make sure that you have to show both nci and group okay both nci and the group even though parent you are not nci you are not writing in the translation reserve the working you have to show so now let us go to the overseas property we have to read the case study we didn't read it we kept it okay because it is a separate this thing and it is long linked with the previous two parts what's this property just give me some time okay Bubble wish to expand its overseas operations on 1st of May 2005. On which date? 1st of May. Mm. 1st of May 2005. Okay. Acquired an overseas property with a fair value of 58.5 million data. In exchange for the building, Bubble pays the supplier with the land. That means to get the building, he's, uh, he he paid the supply with the land which bubble had held but for which it had yet to determine its use the carrying amount of the land was 5 million oh god okay but it had an open market value of 7 million Bubble was unsure as how to deal with the tra this transaction and so had transferred 5 million from the investment property to property planning equipment. Okay, 5 million. What was that 5 million? The land. Because he told that he's going to supply land. He want to get building. To get building, he got he gave land to the supplier. So, he transferred the 5 million. Five million of land. Okay, this is the land from investment property to PPE. This transaction has commercial substance. Okay, the transaction has commercial substance. We'll see. Okay. In addition, Bubble spent 0.5 million to help relocate staff to the new property and added this amount to the cost of building. So 0.5 million and added this. So he added this amount to the cost of building. Bubble has made no other entities in entries in his financial statements in relation to property. Bubble has a policy of depreciating properties over 35 years. And follows the revaluation model. So revaluation model under IS 16. As a result of the surge in the market, it is estimated the fair value of the property is 75 million dinar 31st. So the fair value of the property is now 75 million dinar as a 31st October 2005 because market price increased. Okay. Now, third part again, we'll see correct treatment of overseas property and calculate the balance for PPE as you do it a pair on 31st October 2005 because, because of the fair value and all those things. So this means you have to know IS 16 and 
you have to know the investment uh, property also which is IS 40 both of the standards you have to know okay so overseas property okay the topic is that okay when all you start with sub top sub -heading. so the property should have been recognized as 7 million which is the family of the consideration transfer to acquire it they told it should be recognized as 7 million why 7 million because the fair value was 7 million right fair value so which is the fair value of the consideration because it is fair value of the consideration because we know always the fair value of consideration we have to take then we have to recognize it to uh, transfer to acquire it a profit on the disposal of the land of 2 million so nothing you have missed out here okay it starts from the second this line to this line so a profit on the disposal of land of 2 million there's a profit what is it on the disposal of the land okay disposal of the land of 2 million should also be should have also been recorded the correct entry is okay you have to correct the entry so correct entry means what you could either say increase in this place decrease in this place or whenever they say correct entries it's more about debit credit okay which place to debit by how much and which place to credit and it should always balance your debit should always balance with your credit if it does not balance it's wrong okay for example the first one okay because they told profit so debit credit definitely profit is credit and PPE will be debited with two okay it will increase the value of it two million goes from five to seven okay so you see both the sides are balancing debit side is 2 million credit side is also 2 million now coming to the next bar each component you see every item they are taking separately and they are correcting it first item was relating to the disposal of land second is now staff relocation cost this should not have been capitalized we know okay the correct entry is because it's an expense no it cannot be capitalized so definitely since it's an, ex it's an expense so you debit in the pnl 0.5 and you credit from the ppe you take it out it is not capitalized so credit is 0.65 maybe now definitely depreciation comes because relation to ppe depreciation is there so the building should be depreciated over its useful life giving a correct charge okay correct year charge so 7 million because the fair value divided by 35 because 35 million okay So 35 million into 6 over 12. Why 6 over 12? 6 months. We'll see the date. Thirty first October. Oh wait. We'll see this. So it was taken on first of May 2005 and 31st October 2005. Okay. So from 1st of May, the state, mm -hmm. first of May to 31st October 2005, that date, May, June, July, August, September, October, 6 months, that's why 6 months, okay, 6 months depreciation every day. So you take six months depreciation and the current year depreciation is 0 0.1 and depreciation we know it is uh, expense it goes in PNL so debit 0 0.1 and credit PPE from PPE it will be credited it will go out depreciation will be deducted okay now come at the reporting date the building should be revalued from its carrying amount of 6.9 million to the fair value of 7.9 million okay definitely building should be revalued because we told revaluation model so carrying amount was 6.9 to its fair value of 7.9 how because it was 7 this is the open market price minus this depreciation so 6.9 is the carrying amount from there to fair value what is the fair value they told it was dina 75 million but this needs to be divided okay because you want to compare the dollar with dollar you cannot say 6.9 million versus 75 million come on i mean it should be some amount which has to be nearby right this is in dollar this also has to be in dollar so this 75 million dinner the fair value has been given to in dinner you need to convert into dollar first so divide by 9.5 because at that date it was 9.5 is the exchange rate so 7.9 so 6.9 minus 7.9 okay so the gain is recorded in other comprehensive income where does the gain records revaluation gains are recorded which place 
other comprehensive exam OCI you can even write OCI it is understood so the entry to record is what you credit OCI debit PP because PP fair value will go up no so debit PP credit OCI now the total property plan and equipment balance is calculated as follows okay what is it bubble this is consolidated so bubble also will come okay the bubbles we have property planning equipment we have to add with the tie sellers okay so what is the bubbles uh, pp it is 280 okay in case you forgot and it is in dollar everything is in dollar now okay in case you forgot we taking this 280 remember this 280 we are taking from the bubble and it is in dollar tie seller was in dinar whatever is in dinar we have to take it into dollar okay so this 390 which is in dina we have to convert into dollar before we take it okay 390 and at which date 31st october 2005 the date the rate is 9.5 so here when we are taking it you see Here, Tyler, three ninety from the balance sheet we divided by nine point nine point five and we took this. Next, we had the fair value adjustment. Definitely, there was a fair value adjustment for dinner twenty million. This twenty million was in dinner. We have to take it into dollars, so divide by nine point five. Okay, add that also. Related to building. Now, removal. Ah, uh, now you are correcting all the entries here. Okay, PP cost adjustment. It is two, because from five to seven. Because they told the price is five million, but open market is seven million, so that increases increment. By two, so adding two. Next, removal of incorrect costs, staff relocation cost, which you have capitalized as PP. Now you need to remove it from PP. That's why minus 0.5. Next, the depreciation also needs to be deducted. 0.1 current year's depreciation and revaluation have to be added. One million. So together, this is the price. Okay. Next, so we are over with that also. If you see here now, yes, we are over with that. Now coming to the functional currency part B. Okay. So remember to state the rules that a function, how a function consists of elements, and then apply those rules to the scenario. Okay. Now, this the, this this question means you need a knowledge of uh, the rules uh, relating to IS twenty one relating to how functional currency are determined. There's a whole separate section in it, right? And it's not hard. Trust me. Whenever I say whole section is there, people get scared. You know, they'll be like, "Oh my God, how how many things we have to memorize?" Or no, 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 it's nothing like that. It's not a very uh, lengthy thing. Okay, so coming to page twenty one, the effect of uh, okay, okay, all this blah blah blah. I don't have to repeat. Says that the functional currency is the currency of the primary economic environment in which the entity operates. So they are starting with the definition of functional currency. Okay, the wise thing is to start with the definition of the functional currency in one line. That's it. Now, the primary economic environment in which an entity operates is normally the one in which primary primarily generates and expands cash. Yes. What is the primary economic environment? It means normally the entity, uh, the environment in which the normal uh, the entity normally generate or expands income. Okay. They generate income in that currency, or they or they have the cost in that currency. So the following factors should be considered in determining their functional currency. What are those factors? Please make sure that you remember this factor. Okay. the currency that mainly influences the determination of the sales price so you have to see the currency that influences the sales price next currency of the country whose competitive forces and regulations mainly influence operating cost also currency related operating cost so now the currency that dominates The determination of the sales price will normally be the currency in which the sales price of goods and services are denominated and settled, right? Normally, sale price for goods and services which are denominated and settled. So in Tyler's case, now you see how you are relating to the case study in Tyler's case. First, you gave from I-21. Now you are saying in Tyler's case, the sales price are influenced by local demand and supply. We have underlined it, right? Didn't we say? It was demanded by local demand and supply, and are traded in dinars. Didn't we say so? Okay. In case you forgot, let me take you back to the case study. Okay. 
if needed in the exam also 100 times you can go back to the case study and see the case study again and again read the requirements again and again okay that is one of the wise strategy students can you know pick what is it part b so here we told i have underlined also price is determined in local demand and supply okay and it is traded in dinar the output of the mine is traded in dinar and its price is local demand and supply okay Everything has been highlighted in this paragraph. The keywords. So here, analysis of the revenue stream points to the dinar has been the functional currency. You see, even the revenue is in dinar. So they point out that this is the functional currency, the dinar. So the cost analysis is in determined because the expense are influenced by dinar and dollar. You see the cost, you cannot go by the cost. Why? In determine it. Why? Exp when it is both. You cannot decide that cannot be a deciding factor so you, based on revenue you can say dinar is the functional currency but based on cost you cannot say the same thing because expenses are both in dinars and dollar okay let me take you again see the last you see income in dinar okay but if you see the cost 40 percent cost are in expense and expenses in dollar with remainder being incurred and settled in uh, dinar so even though you might some of you might question that since majority of it are in dinner then dinner 60 percent no the percentage does not matter as more because it has both 40 and 60 right it has both so that percentage does not matter so much that it is 40 percent that's why it should not be the functional currency dinner is 60 percent no so using on cost you cannot decide okay now these are the primary factor once when you cannot decide can you decide now you cannot decide because expense is both revenue says uh, this one so you need one or two more factors to say that it's going towards dollar or dinner okay so now once you're over with primary factor don't worry we have secondary factor also so they require to consider the secondary factor and you should know the secondary factor also by the way when determining the functional currency what are those factors includes the degree of autonomy it is given in the case study, right? We saw who has the degree of autonomy and the independence of financing. We saw that they don't require the financing from the parent company, from bubble. Tysela operates, so we have, we, we have been told in the case study, he operates with a considerable degree of autonomy and both financial and in terms of his management also does not depend on the group for finance. So what does it, what does it indicate? That dinar is the uh, functional currency. So in conclusion, they are functional currency. Whose functional currency? Tesla's functional currency will be the dinar because its revenue is clearly influenced by the dinar. You wouldn't just say this is the functional currency. In conclusion, this is the functional currency. See the reason because its revenue is clearly so you cannot go through the other factor. Okay. So in conclusion, you can just give one point. You don't have to give repeat all the primary and secondary factor. Okay. You can just say revenue is influenced in clearly influenced by the dinar. Okay. So that's it. Now let us see how the marking scheme is divided. Okay. So if you see part A, this is the first part, this is the second part of A, and this is the third part of A. First part group goodwill calculation and discussion seven marks. They didn't divide it how, how you will get. So I, I would say three marks for calculation and four marks for discussion. Okay. Group translation reserve 10 marks. Here also they didn't give uh, the division of the points. Okay. PPE seven marks one mark per point okay for functional currency discussion six marks that means you can you can give up to six points okay or five points one for conclusion and one for conclusion you will get here okay so with this we have finished question number five okay the next question is so see you in question six okay